Well, hello and welcome to Touchline TV. We are here at the glittering West End to see Bend It Like Beckham. I had the privilege earlier of catching up with the lovely leading lady of this fantastic show, Natalie Jew. Just Minden. Remember who you are. Well, thank you, Natalie, for coming and talking to Touchline TV. I saw the show, as you know, last night, and I'm still completely buzzing from it. How yeah. exhausting is it being the lead part in a musical, <laughs> and how does it compare to some of the other straighter plays that you've done? Um, yeah, it's exhausting. Um, I think the good thing is, because I don't really get a break during the show, so I never have time to actually go, I'm tired. <laughs> so I just sort of keep going. Um, but yeah, in terms of what I've done before, having to do the dancing and the football and the singing, uh, is definitely more knackering than yeah. anything I've done. And I was going to come on to that actually because uh, obviously it's daunting with the singing and the line learning, but how was the learning the football skills? Are you new to football? Is yeah. That, yeah, completely brand new. Um, so I did training um, about three months before just so that I didn't look completely awful with a ball next to me. Um, and so yeah, that sort of helped to make me more comfortable with it. And then as we sort of realised what we needed to do for the show, it's just about just drilling it, drilling the tricks. Um, and yeah, I'm, hopefully I'm pulling it off. Um, but yeah, it's sort of, it's getting stronger and stronger, I think, each time. So there's a, a part of the show when you, um, you've you got to flick the three balls into <laughs> Joe's bag and I was holding my breath a bit with her being <laughs> so particularly so, scary. So do I, it's awful. <laughs> but actually it's, that not, and not, I mean, poor Joe is the one that has to, because if he doesn't catch it, I'm like, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> um, but no, it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely a skill that I'm getting better at because I couldn't get worse. So <laughs> there was only one way to go. That's good. <laughs> um, now, the show marries so many issues very successfully. I mean, obviously women in football, but also conflicts with parents and children and duties and dreams. It's obviously a line from the show. Um, do you think musical theatre is a powerful way to broach those subjects? I mean, the music's amazing. Howard Goodall wrote the music with Charles Hart doing the lyrics. And I think what it sort of does is heighten uh, any of the key issues that are sort of brought up um, and it is a fun musical and it's you know it's ultimately joyous but uh, it's nice to sort of touch on the heavier stuff um, but in a way that seems accessible and for everyone I think because I think the way that it's done it allows any family or any sort of person from any age to feel included it helps to get each person's point across as well because you know a lot of the characters do have their own song and can sort of express their feelings so as you say I think it's a good way to sort of uh, have a two-sided version of something as well. Apart from the actual <laughs> fun of doing the show with you, what sort of experiences have you had in terms of meeting people or publicity stunts or anything fun that's... We've, we've had a really close link with the England girls team and um, what's been great is as they've been obviously playing and you know playing their matches we've sent a lot of tweets saying you know we support you, we're with you and we had a banner for ages at the end of the show that we brought out and just said support our girls and, uh, and they did the same, they tweeted us for press night and said you know we're all thinking of you from the other side of the world and stuff. So it's it's weirdly, I don't know if it was fate or if it was designed, but it happened at exactly the right time. And have they been to the, see the show? No, some of them are coming soon though. We've had we've had four of the girls, four of the lionesses come, um, but they're coming in stages. So yeah, we've had four and it was terrifying <laughs> doing football in front of them. But um, they were so supportive and really, really lovely. David's not been in? Not yet, no, but we're keeping our fingers crossed because I hope he does come because yeah, I think, I think he's shown in a great light, so it'd be really nice if he does come. Are there any parallels between the character of Jess and the young Natalie Jew of, say, 10 or 15 years ago? I mean, I, being that age of sort of wanting to achieve your dream and not sure where, what you're going to do or how to do it, it definitely runs with sort of me going to acting, because, it, you know, it's, it's treacherous and it's daunting, and on paper it's not exactly risk-free. Um, so yeah, I, I think I can sort of sympathise with that part of her life. 
definitely. And are you a, a football fan or is this all kind of a... I am you now. You are now. Um, <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh, do you know what? I will... I Normally I would switch off the TV, but I now will sort of engage and I definitely look at the back pages of the papers more. Um, and yeah, I think I think it's it's definitely opened me up to a whole world that I didn't know existed. And my boyfriend is thrilled that I care about football now. Absolutely. Uh, so there's definitely more <laughs> chat in the house about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was really I was really pleased with the the makeup scene actually. In um, I'm very interested in women in sport. Sometimes people thinking they're having to be sort of masculine yeah. as opposed to being female. Yeah, I think it's just because the fact we celebrate women. I think, and I think. What's great as well, if you look at the Lionesses, they are stunning girls. I mean, and you see that, and you know, even when they play, but then when they also dress up, they are just women. Um, so I think it's quite nice that it sort of goes, yes, we play football, yes, we're quite bolshy and all of that, but no, we're, we're, we're still women. Yeah. yeah, so I think that's a nice thing that you touched up on, yeah. Um, how much pressure was there knowing how successful the film was? And then, because um, I've... I, looked at an interview at some point and you said that you hadn't seen the film when you were rehearsing on purpose. No, 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 yeah. Have you sneakily look. looked at it now? No, no I've tried not to. Just, I think I probably will, you know, I'll sit, I'll probably grab Lauren who plays Jules and we'll sit down at the end of this contract and, and eat some popcorn and watch it. Um, <laughs> but no, I think we made a conscious choice just because we want to show the case this as a new piece of work in itself. And of course it's got all the best bits from the film and what everybody loves from that. Uh, but we've really tried to uh, expand it and, and show it in its own right and so for that choice we sort of went you know what let's make our own decisions try not copy anyone else uh, and yeah do it do it originally I think. It must be so gratifying to read positive reviews the musical has enjoyed. Yeah I mean it's been received uh, incredibly well and our audiences are generally really full and uh, filled with really generous people and I think I think people are happy because uh, it's the story they still love um, and yet I think, uh, from what I've heard, a lot of people are quite positively surprised about how we've merged you know, the football and the songs and all the rest of it. So yeah, so far it's been really well embraced, which is great. The team spirit of the Lionesses was, um, was very evident and especially the way that they um, sadly got knocked out. How's the team spirit uh, in your camp? Oh, amazing, we've got the best company and uh, yeah, there's about 30 of us and yeah, it's a real family and, and rehearsal's been hard and previews were hard and tiring and everybody's attitude has just been great. Um, so I couldn't be more happy to share the stage with such a bunch of great people. And final question, when can I come and see it again? Anytime you want, <laughs> anytime you want. Bring your friends. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Bring, bring, come again. Thank you, I'd love to. <laughs> Well, Bend It Like Beckham, the musical, certainly had big boots to fill following the success of the original movie, and it certainly does that on every level. The plot is timeless and topical. The music will get you dancing in the aisle. A fusion of East versus West. It's a must-watch show which has something for everyone. One thing's for sure, you'll go away humming and singing a plethora of wonderful songs. We'll leave you with another sample of Howard Goodall's brilliant musical arrangement. Thanks for watching, we'll see you soon.